All right, let's start this video out by adding us a little olive oil to this pot. It got a little water in it, but it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. I'm gonna get that going in there. Meanwhile, our oil is heating up. We're going to add some chopped onion. And I'm using a whole chopped onion, so. And you can use find the smallest one you got because we only have three turkey legs that we are doing. You could substitute chicken or whatever you want. Mushrooms, it's all up to you. We're going to smother it and make it delicious. If you're going to use those king oyster mushrooms, then, you know, clean them and do your thing and do the same process. All right. I found this little bell pepper off of a plant in my garden. Ha, ha, ha. Anyway, so I didn't wait on it, sit around waiting on it to get any bigger. We're going to add that to our pot. So we need onion and bell pepper. Remove the seeds from this little fella. If you do not know how to chop and cut up onion and bell pepper. I will do a tutorial video on how to cut in onion and bell pepper and how to keep the onion from making you cry. Okay, so we're gonna do that. I'll do that on a separate video. We're not gonna do that on this video. All right, so we want to get our onion and bell pepper sauteing in this pot. We're going to add in our turkey legs all right let's start layering our flavor so we're going to add some ginger paste you can do fresh ginger if you would like but i have ginger paste and i have fresh but for this i have this and i'm going to use it let's start out by adding a tablespoon of garlic powder then you're going to add a tablespoon of onion powder after you have added a tablespoon of onion powder we're going to use a teaspoon and use cumin that's going to amp up the flavor a little bit more then we're going to put some ground turmeric we're going to use one tablespoon of ground turmeric and then we're going to use two tablespoons of curry powder if you have some, use it. It's going to add to the flavor, darling. All right, after we have done that, we're going to add in a tablespoon of parsley flakes. It amps up the flavor as well. And then we're going to use a teaspoon of dried cilantro. You can use fresh if you have it. If not, dried will work just as well. Then we're going to use one to two tablespoons of Martin Season Oil. Remember, you can always add seasoning to your food, but you cannot take it out, okay? And we don't want salty food. We're going to put in three bay leaves because the bay leaves always amp up our dishes, makes our flavor pop, and we love good food. That's what we're here for. This is a learning channel, so I'm teaching you guys how to put dinner together. Uh, it seems like it's a long process, but it really isn't that long of a process, especially if you cook on medium-high heat. You're going to add just enough water to fill the pot just right above the meat. You don't want to add any more, you know, more water than that because then you got to sit there and wait on it to evaporate. Make sure that your heat is on medium high. You're going to stir it occasionally. You're going to put your lid on and allow the magic to happen. You're going to come back after 45 minutes. Make sure you clean your lids on your canned goods, people, please. And then you're going to add one can of diced tomato. It does not matter what brand you use. It's all up to you. You're going to add a can of cream of chicken or cream of mushroom or cream of celery or cream of whoever your favorite cream of is. You're going to add that because that is going to produce your gravy. Okay. Especially once it boils all the way down. This is just amping the flavor of your dish up and not having it you know salty nobody wants some any salty food they just want flavorful food okay and that's what we're going for we are going for a flavor packed dish 
not a salty dish, a flavored packed dish. Okay, you're gonna re reduce your heat after the other initial. You wanna boil your turkey legs until your gravy has sticking. So you wanna keep stirring it so it doesn't stick to the bottom of your pot. And there you have it. Got your turkey, your gravy, your turkey is literally off the bone. All right, how many of y'all like rice or raw and rice peel off? All right, I love this stuff. So you're gonna start out with one box of rice or raw peel off. If you're cooking for one to two, maybe even three people. If you cook for four, I would use two boxes. You wanna wanna brown your rice. rice. You see this seasoning pack? Sit it over to the side, baby. Don't use that just yet. Add two tablespoons of butter. I'm using real butter. You can use margarine if you want, but I like real butter. While the rice is toasting, you're gonna need a cup of water. Actually, I would say three to four cups of water, because you're gonna use a little bit at a time. When it's lightly toasted, just like that, look how pretty it that is. That's when you want to start adding in your water and your seasoning. All right, so we're gonna pour a little water in, just like that. A little bit more. And our seasoning. That little seasoning pack that was in the box. Add that. We'll mix it in really well. Pour in a little more water. And let it boil down. Occasionally stirring. When it boils down like that, just keep stirring. Keep stirring. And then you're going to add just a little bit more water. About a quarter of a cup. Okay. So add like a quarter of a cup at a time. For everyone that has to have, have measurements, add a quarter of a cup at a time. And you want it to be kind of like this. On high heat, boiling, do not leave it unattended. I'm going to add in one more tablespoon of butter. You do not have to do that. Okay? If you're being health conscious, do not do that. Okay? That's just what I'm doing. Capiche? You want to keep stirring it. Add another quarter of a cup. And let it boil down. You're doing this until the rice is tender enough to chew. And normally I do this until all of my water in this cup is gone. And this is 32 ounces, I believe. Hold on. Yeah, I'm guessing this is about... This is a pretty nice size cup. Yeah, 32. I say 32 ounces. Let it keep going. Alright, you're going to want to test it after that water is boiled out. Make sure your hands are clean. Alright, it's at a good texture and I still have like a cup of water left. So I'm going to let all this water evaporate out. And the way to make it go fast is on high heat. I'm just going to keep stirring it. Use a non-stick skillet. You can use a cast iron if you want, but your rice is going to have a slight metal taste. It's up to you.
This is when you can turn your heat all the way off or remove it from the eye. Like that. All right, let's cook up some green beans. So we're going to start out with a tablespoon of butter, some onion, and I'm using purple onion because I love the flavor of purple onion, but you can use yellow or white onion. It's all up to you. We're gonna add in a teaspoon of bacon fat. These are not health conscious green beans with the butter and the bacon fat. But you can swap it out for olive oil if you want to do that. Okay? Olive oil serves the same purpose. Just the butter and the bacon fat just adds more flavor. That's all. It's totally up to you. Use olive oil, use whatever oil, canola, vegetable oil, whatever oil you all you are used to using, use that. All right, I have my frozen green beans that I'm going to, did you see that frozen hose, frozen? My frozen green beans, I'm going to get into the pot. Add in a cup of water. To that, I'm gonna season it um, with some Goya, the perfect seasoning, the total seasoning. A Little bit of that, about half a tablespoon of that. I'm gonna use some adobo by Goya. And I would say half of, I would say a whole teaspoon, but you can always add seasoning too. You just cannot take the seasoning out. Remember that. This would, this is actually enough green beans for two people. So, so you can, you know, kind of gauge how much is in here. This is dry powdered ginger. So I'm gonna get some of that in there, just like that. Get it a nice little stir. I have some more water I'm gonna pour in here, just enough to cover them and start the boiling process. And come back. All right, let's check on our green beans. I'm just gonna let them boil until all the water is out. I'm gonna make a plate. It's time to fix the plate. All right, this is our dinner. What do you think? Smother turkey, over rice pilaf with some green beans. What you think? Share your thoughts and feelings in the comment section. I really enjoyed making this meal uh, for you guys, with you guys. Um, I hope you try this recipe out and enjoy it because it is delicious. Uh, mine is now gone. Anywho, <laughs> I love y'all. Thank you for spending some time with me today. I pray that you have a long life, live prosperously, and stay blessed. Bye.